Hello, Pack 400 families. It's your Cub Master and Popcorn Colonel, Mr. Townsend. I put together this presentation to provide you all with important information regarding this year's popcorn sale. For some of you, this may be review, but for all our new families, this will hopefully answer most of your questions about the popcorn sale. And even for our more veteran scouter families, this talk will have updated information regarding this year's sale. In years past, we've had other smaller fundraising opportunities throughout the year, but I want to emphasize that the popcorn sale is the single most important fundraiser for our pack because it is the primary source for the majority of our program budget. It might be easy to overlook this with the busyness that comes with each new school year, but we cannot take it for granted since it is such an important source of revenue for our unit. If we do not meet our sales goals, we would unfortunately be forced to do what many other packs have done, which is to have families cover their own rechartering fees each year, collect pack dues to pay for things like awards, and be unable to subsidize any pack or council events such as summer camp and other pack activities. So we ask that each family participate in this sale with a goal of at least $500 per scout. This is very attainable and does not have to cost your family a dime, just a little bit of time. Hopefully, you all should have received the materials for this year's popcorn sale already at either the pack meeting or join night. But if not, don't worry. I have extra materials available, and I also have included digital copies attached to this message, which you can download and print off. So, with that, let me get into the information about this year's sale. First of all, why are we selling popcorn? Like I mentioned before, primarily the main reason is to fund our pack and all the fun stuff that we do. If you have this sheet, take a look at it. I'm going to read off some of the stuff that's included here. Um, so as I mentioned, we need to pay for a lot of things. We need to pay for all the awards the kids earn. We have Pinewood Derby car kits. We have food that we provide at all of our at, at certain pack events and meetings um, and we also use it to subsidize costs for some of these activities we go to like the pumpkin patch or even chip in some money for kids to go to summer camp so there's a lot of different things that we use to to fund our pack and our program and that is the biggest reason that we sell popcorn perhaps the biggest reason the kids enjoy selling popcorn is for all the prizes so if you look at the sales sheet, inside of it, it lists a whole bunch of prize options here. And the way these work is for every dollar your scout sells is a dollar they have to spend on these prizes. So if you happen to sell $850 worth of prizes, you could pick one of the prizes from this top sales level. Or you could choose lower level prizes that equal up to $850. The lowest level prize you get is the $75 ones, and if you make even one sale of just a $10 item, you'll get the patch that comes with it. So this is the front page, the um, lower level prizes, and then the higher cost prizes are on the second page. Um, if you have any questions about that, feel free to let me know. On the very back of the order sheet is the winner's circle prizes. These are separate. So if you sell $300 or $3,000 worth of prizes, you can pick any one of these things off of here. But you also have $3,000 worth of money to spend on the prizes inside here. So you can pick from here and you can pick one off of here. And for every multiple of $3,000 you sell, if you're super ambitious and sell $6,000 worth of popcorn, you can pick two items or two of the same item. So that's how this works, the winner's circle. And, um, and that, for the kids, sometimes is a pretty good motivator. Other things that they can get for prizes, uh, they do list in here, right in this box here, if you want to review that. The $600, if you get to the $600 sale level, you can get all those prizes I showed you before, but you also get $30 off of summer camp. So if your child wants to go to Akela's World, you get $30 off. It also gets you your first entry into the grand prize drawing for Universal Studios, a family trip to Universal Studios. The next highest level is $1,000. If you can sell $1,000 worth of popcorn, 
then you get your second entry into the grand prize, but you also get unlimited slushies at the trading post at camp, which, believe me, the kids really like. <laughs> um, the other higher levels are $1,500, $2,000, $2,500, and $5,000. So for each of those, you get additional entries for the grand prize drawing. So, um, again, you get that, plus you can pick from all of these different prizes and whatever multiples of 3,000 you can pick from here. So a lot of different ways to earn prizes. The council has instituted a new incentive this year called the Top 50 Club. So you have to sell at least that $1,500 worth of popcorn in order to be considered for the Top 50. And then they'll actually figure out, you know, who were the top 50 sellers throughout the council. And those 50 scouts get to go to the Wassa on the Water um, arcade and restaurant. And they'll be doing laser tag and arcade games, pizza, cake, and they'll have some door prizes. So that'll happen later in the year, uh, March 18th. And if you're interested in that, that is another incentive. Each order sheet has 30 lines on it. So this page here, 30 lines. If your scout can fill up all 30 lines, then you let me know and I will submit their name to the council and they will get their name entered in a drawing for an Amazon gift card, or sorry, Best Buy gift card worth $250. So the council will be giving away three of those. So every time you fill a sheet, let me know it's an extra entry into that drawing. So there's another prize they can earn. And another incentive for our fifth graders, our Arrow of Light Scouts, um, whatever you sell, the percentage that the pack would get will give you half of it for you to take over to the troop, Troop 400, and put some starter money in your um, scout account. So that way you have some funds to go on trips and other events that the troop will be doing in Scouts BSA. The pack makes a commission of 30% of the, um, the money that is sold. Um, so that means 15% of what you sell in dollars would be money you could take over to your Scout account as a fifth grader. Um, and of course, you know, if you guys sell enough money, you get the patch for the year and then you get to throw some pies in the leaders faces at a meeting coming up later in the year so that is also very motivating for these scouts um, at the bottom of this sheet you'll see i have some information about the online sales you should all have gotten some um, notification that your scout had a seller id set up for them the way that works is the link that comes with that email tells you what the um, how to get to the online store for Pecatonica River, which is the popcorn supplier for our council. And all the people do when they want to place an order is when they get to the checkout, make sure you put in that six digit or numerical and uh, it's got six characters, numbers and, and letters. If they put that in for your scout, then they'll get credit for that sale. Just like they would accounts towards prizes um, if they did the the physical order form. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. Online sales is a nice way of getting um, some sales from people who don't live locally. So if you've got friends and family who live outside of Wassa or not even in the state, but think would like to support your scout, um, go ahead and send that information out. Throw it up on Facebook. See if you can get people to buy from them. The orders on there are slightly different than what's offered in the actual sales sheet. Uh, there's a few different options that you won't find on the paper order sheet. So I think like uh, chocolates and some nuts and stuff like that. Um, and shipping is free. So if people are worried about that, it comes right to them. You don't have to get it and deliver it to them. So it's a nice option. All right. So we talked about the prizes. We talked about all the different things that they can earn. Now let's talk about the different ways you can sell. We already talked about online sales. Then there's door to door sales and then there's selling to friends and family. So whether you make phone calls or visit them, uh, that's another way to do it. And if you're 
uh, able to, you can sell it at work to some employers don't allow that. But if you can, that's another opportunity to make some sales as well. Um, on this sheet that I had for everybody, um, the top part has very important dates on those. So the first day to sell is Saturday, September 24th this year. The last day to sell is Sunday, October 23rd. That's pretty much a month to sell popcorn. Very important. The, after the last day of sales, the very next day we have our October pack meeting. So bring your order forms, bring all the money that you collected, and turn that in because I need to get that submitted to the council right away. There's very little time uh, to get it submitted. So if you can't make that meeting, you need to make sure you get in touch with me and get your orders and money to me as soon as possible possible outside of the meeting because otherwise it won't get turned in when it needs to. Um, then in November we'll pick up the popcorn that gets delivered on the 11th and then get it all sorted out and then on the 12th, Saturday the 12th, uh, you can pick it up from my house and then you can begin sorting it into your individual orders and delivering it. So Sunday November 13th is the first day that you can start delivering popcorn. Um, the way that we handle payments for our pack, we usually, at the time of sale, collect the money. And it can be either cash or check. And if you have a check, it's very important it's made out properly. It has to be made out to pack 400. You can say Cub Scout pack 400 or just simply pack 400. Should not say troop 400, uh, which is a common mistake. Otherwise, we have issues. Um, shouldn't say Boy Scouts, shouldn't say Samoset Council, it has to say Pack 400. Otherwise, we'll have to go and get that corrected. Um, some people feel a little odd about making an order and paying you money without having any product in their hand. So to make that a little easier, we developed these receipts. So um, everyone should have gotten a copy of this that you can either photocopy yourself or print off digital copies. But the way it works is you just put down the date of sale you can put your scout's name on there, your contact information. That way, if they af after the orders come in and they haven't heard from you, they have a way of getting in touch. And then um, it does list when the orders should start coming in as well. On the back side of here, you can write down how much of each individual item did they get. So if they got a tin of caramel corn, you put that and put one. That way they can hang onto this, throw it on their fridge, and they know when to expect your popcorn and what they ordered and from who. So that makes it a lot easier to make these sales. Um, otherwise, you know, we are Cub Scouts, so we are trustworthy, but even so, people like to have a little something for accountability. The other form that was included is this. It's the military um, donation option. So this is basically a receipt for that. Um, it is a tax-deductible donation, so these are important to hand out too, even though they're not getting anything. Um, this is something they can hang on to, and if they do itemized deductions for their taxes, this is something that they can use as a tax write-off. So you may need to make photocopies of this or print extra copies from the digital ones I provided online. So uh, again, make sure you collect the money up front unless it's a family or friend and you're willing to foot the, uh, the cost at the time that you turn in your order. Um, and you can reliably collect it from them later. Otherwise, you know, if you don't have money for that particular um, sale you made, then we can't place that order um, when it comes time at the end of the sale. Um, there was an envelope that was included with your uh, materials like this. So use this as you go about your sale and um, and then keep track of all of your, your money, too. If you have a lot, you don't have to keep it all in there, especially if you're going door to door. You don't want to carry a huge sum of money. But um, turn it all in at the very end in that envelope. Um, so if you have any questions about how to make sales uh, or what we allow for payments, please let me know. But again, the money needs to be accompanied with the order form at that pack meeting on Monday. October 24th. Tips and tricks. So uh, I've been doing popcorn sales with my kids for the last few years now. I've learned a few things along the way. Um, 
The best way to make sales, people that you can count on, hopefully would be friends and family. Um, at least, hopefully you can get a, a few sales that way. Uh, again, if you can take it to work, that's another opportunity to get some sales. And then knocking door to door. I mentioned that before. That's another way to earn some, um, some money. Your own neighborhood, hopefully people know you and would be willing to support your kid in their scouting. Um, otherwise, if uh, your neighborhood has a lot of scouts or you live in the country, you know, find another neighborhood nearby and, and uh, try going through there. If you happen to be a scout who was in the pack last year, you could look at your order forms from last year and see who bought from you and, and see if they would be willing to buy from you again this year. If they're willing to support you last time, chances are they'll do it again. Um, another tip I would say is get out early to sell because as we all know, as the uh, days progress into the later part of the, the selling season, the daylight gets less too. So uh, get out early, plus you'll have less competition, less likely that people will have bought popcorn from somebody else. So for a couple of reasons, it's good to get out and sell early. Plus, it gets colder. <laughs> um, also, the times that are best to go and sell are between 5.30 and 7.30. Um, obviously, daylight can affect how late you can stay out sometimes. But if you go out too much earlier than 5.30, you may catch people still at work. Um, and uh, on, on the weekend, Saturdays are a little tricky because some people are out and about doing stuff, but Sunday evenings usually work pretty well. People are often home getting ready for the work week or for school. If you're trying to be selective uh, about where you're going to ring doorbells, pick the houses where you can see that they've got vehicles there so that you can tell they're home or if they've got lights on or the garage doors open. That way you're not spending a lot of time ringing doorbells and waiting to find out that no one's home. Just to give you some sense of how well you can expect to do going out uh, selling door to door, about a hundred to two hundred dollars a night if you're going for about an hour. Um, some days better than others, but generally speaking, you know, about a hundred to two hundred dollars um, for an hour of sales if you're moving moving along at a regular pace. Um, I also recommend grabbing a clipboard and something hard to write on, just so it's easier to take down orders. And always make sure that you're uh, accompanying your scout. So we don't like them to go out alone, even if they're older, um, and, you know, unless they're going with older scouts too, just it for safety purposes. Always make sure to dress for the weather. And uh, you may want to bring some water, even a flashlight if you're going to be going out later. Uh, don't enter any strangers' homes for obvious safety reasons. Um, and then along the safety lines too, you know, if there's a, a neighborhood... Uh, dog or something that you're not really sure if they're friendly don't risk it it's not worth it um, and again don't carry large sums of money if you've made a lot of sales great but you don't need to carry it all in your envelope just leave some of it in there to help break up larger bills if people have um, you know bigger sums of money that they need to make change for but uh, you know if you happen to lose that envelope that would be that wouldn't be good <laughs> Um, at the bottom of the page is a little script here, so it's good uh, a lot of times, especially if you're new to this, to practice running through that at, at home just so your scout can be comfortable when they get up to the door. And it's okay to help them and prompt them, but uh, having a rehearsed spiel does help. <laughs> so just for example, I'll read off the script. Hello, my name is Kevin, and I'm a Cub Scout from Pack 400 in Wassa. I'm selling popcorn to help raise money for my pack. May I show you your choices? And hand them the brochure. And people like it when you tell them what you like or if they know that you know the menu options. So say, my favorite flavor is sea salt or the caramel with sea salt. And you can tell them they make great gifts and they're good to share at holiday parties since it's about that time of year. If you don't like popcorn, we also sell chocolate covered pretzels and snack mix. And if they say that they're not interested, you can tell them that we also accept military donations, um, which is another way of making a sale. Um, and again, can be a tax write-off contribution for them. And those military donations, actually, the popcorn company sends them 
to active duty military people. Regardless of whether they buy, remember a scout is courteous, so thank them for their time and always make sure to leave them with the receipt. So those are the main tips and tricks. Um, the last thing I'll do is just show you some of the uh, op options here. So they sort of have them arranged in the cheapest to the most expensive ones starting up here and with the most expensive being down here. The top corner here is the yellow popping corn. They're just kernels. You have to pop them yourself either in like a pan or an air fryer, that kind of thing. Um, so a lot of people like that one if they're interested in doing it themselves. The other uh, cheaper option that's pre-popped is a, a small caramel corn um, that comes in a plastic container. There are a few microwavable options. There's the, I think they come in 15 packs of butter, kettle corn and then there's the double butter up here and those come in 28 packs. So these are $20 each and this one is $30. Then a couple other the $20 ones, these are cheddar, jalapeno cheese and the pre-popped kettle corn here. And uh, the, this one's a new one this year. Uh, they just added that and then this replaced the trail mix that was on last year which is Cajun Crunch. Um, it's supposed to be like a spicier snack mix kind of thing. And those are all the $20 options. Then these, let's see, three options here are $25. They come in a metal tin. There's sea salt splash, peanut butter cup, and mud puddles. They all have some form of chocolate with them. And then the caramel with sea salt and the milk chocolate pretzels were on last year, but they're $5 more this year. Um, Green Bay Packer tin and a Brewer's tin. We already talked about the double butter. And then there's these ones are like the combos. So there's the classic trio, which is cheese, uh, uh, butter, or no, sorry, caramel, cheese, and just a regular popcorn. And then the Cheese Lovers is a variety of four different types of cheesy. So it's got cheddar cheese, jalapeno, buffalo ranch, and white cheddar. And the Chocolate Lovers has five different things milk chocolate pretzels, white chocolate pretzels, white ruby, which is like a white chocolate with craisins, uh, peanut butter cup, and coconut rain, which is a coconut chocolate. So these were all on last year too. They're each $5 more than they were last time. So 35, 45, and 55. Military donations here can be given in $25 increments. If you do place online orders, they can be as little as $10 increments. So those are all the options and again when people make a sale they should put down their name um, put down their address if you're selling door to door if you're selling it to like friends and family or somebody at work put down like a phone number then they put down the quantity of how many of each of the individual things they want on that line tally up that at the end and how much the the money is again they should pay up front hopefully or if it's a family or friend you can leave the paid portion open until they've paid and then you can check mark that you've delivered it. Um, so that is how this works. And when you're done with your sale, you just tally everything up along the bottom. Make sure it matches what you've got for your money in your envelope and turn that all in at the pack meeting. Um, one other thing that I did include with the papers is a thank you. And I developed this thing just because I find it all very helpful in organizing. So on the front side it says thanks for your order. This is what the pack will do with the money that they've earned and you can put your information. And then on the back you can use this at home just to get your orders ready to take out for delivery. So if you've made a bunch of orders you might find it a little challenging to keep them all straight if you don't use some method for organization. So this you can put you know who ordered it and where they live or their contact info and then what did they all buy and how much. And if they haven't paid, you know, make sure to check that um, and maybe highlight it so you remember to get the payment when you deliver. One of the benefits to making uh, payments up front is that, you know, if uh, people aren't home and they're okay with it, you can always drop the, the um, product off at their house in a safe place and then you don't have to worry about trying to collect the money at that time. The council also has these door hangers um, if you're interested in those, I would say maybe just use them for like friends and family or neighbors because you, you don't want to, you know, get in a situation where you can't collect the money. 
And I also have this, which is something that, you know, you can staple on there. Um, put your, your own kids information on there and then uh, staple it on. That way you can arrange a time to pick up the money before the orders are due. All of those forms are available uh, as digital copies. You can customize them and print them so you don't have to handwrite them all and make as many copies as you want. So that hopefully covered everything. I know it's a lot. If you uh, got through this presentation and you still have more questions, please reach out to me. Um, again, it's a very important part of our program. I know it's right at the beginning of the year, so it's a little overwhelming, but it is a very important thing to make our program run without charging a bunch of extra costs to our families. We've been very fortunate that we've done well with popcorn sales in the past, and so we're able to offer our program for a pretty nominal fee, really. Um, but um, it, it won't stay that way if we don't have people who are willing to sell the popcorn. So, again, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.